introduce somebody who's very, very special, who knows that never again is now, who has imparted those lessons to Canadians. This is a Canadian hero. Please welcome to the stage, Nate Leipzinger. Yidden, Mirzen and Do. Jews, we are here. Being a 95 year old survivor of the Holocaust is not easy. Especially at this time of severe anti Semitism and the unbridled hatred that we are confronted with. Our students are attacked on this, at the university and on the street. Our synagogues are defaced and firebombed. And then came October the 7th, the most brutal and barbaric scene that I have ever seen or that we have ever seen. It was, I was utterly shocked, my soul was grief-stricken. I lost my hard attained balance. Fear gripped me. The feelings of 90, of 80 years ago returned. I was transported back to Yom Kippur of 1943, Auschwitz-Birkenau. I was 15 years old. I stood in the sky in this yard and the sky was crimson red, illuminated by the flames shooting out from the chimneys of the crematorium. Flames were consuming the bodies of our people, murdered in a gas chamber most moments before my family was among them. Tears uncontrollably ran down my cheeks. Their fate awaits me, invaded me too. The world was silent. We had no friends. The state, instead of protecting us, was murdering us. Even the heavens seemed to not to hear our cries and our prayers. We're ab abandoned, utterly alone. Every, everything seemed to be lost. The next two years, are terrible. My father and I suffered through six concentration camps, more horrible than I can describe. Finally, we were liberated on May the 2nd, 1945. We realized that we may be the only survivors of our large family. Sick in body, soul, heart broken hearted, I, we confronted the future, but no country would have us. Our struggles have just begun. That was 78 years ago. There was no Israel. The Jews were not allowed to go to Palestine. No country would have us. Finally, our difficulties were over. I took a breath and I realized that I'm not in 1943, but in 2023. Israel is strong and not alone, as you can see here. Our people are united. We stand shoulder to shoulder with Israel as demonstrated here. We have many good friends, and together we shall defeat our enemies. Israel is at war, a war which it shall win. Our enemies, our enemies are fighting Israel not only with arms, but using its innocent civilians as their shields. They're waging a psychological war, a war in the court of public opinion with propaganda, false information, and lies. This is where we come in. Yeah. 
We in the diaspora are not powerless. We shall fight the terrorist propaganda and false narrative with truth and accuracy. We shall fight our enemies wherever they are with the full might of the law. We shall fight for human rights as we have fought for others. Jewish human rights are also human rights. We stand proud as with Israel, as Jews, as Zionists, and we shall prevail. And we shall go on March of the Living to Auschwitz-Birkenau to show the world that we are here and we are not defeated. I'm Israel High. <laughs>